Hey guys, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Oh, must be Friday, must be RimWorld time again. Hang on, let me just get out of the load screen here. I didn't realize I hadn't even gotten that far. Continuing the game, because we're on the moon. Yep, it's moon time again. Back to the moon. Back to, uh, well, decorating the moon. Primarily decorating the moon. That's our, that's our goal here, right? And they've always dreamt of a lovely living room on the moon. Perturbi, welcome, 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 welcome. You can welcome chat all you want. I think you're the only one here so far. Hopefully other folks will be kicking in the door. Mel is here. Welcome, Mel. Hello, Mel. Off back to the moon. Yay, moon. That's a lovely earth out tonight. Danny, welcome, welcome. Going crazy at home in isolation waiting for your stream. Thank you so much, Danny. That really makes me feel good. And I'm not saying that lightly. It really does. Um, I, I love that you guys come out and watch this. I think the only thing that I had done, bird brains, welcome, welcome, was the bathroom because the bathroom was so darn fussy. It just took me forever. I think I'm broadly happy with the bathroom. Yeah, tennis is working for me. Dr. Avalanche, welcome, welcome, welcome. Tennis is definitely working for me on that. I kind of like to do the hallway next. I'm going to I'm going to keep this this thing whatever it was that I got here. I don't remember what it was. But it's very very important that I have it. Uh, open that door. I want to put this thing in there and then and then leave it there for for, you know, later basically. Okay. Let's get Let me think what I'm going to do for paint here in the walls. First of all, let's start with paint and then we'll proceed from there. Uh so get out of Wait, have they completely changed everything okay they've completely changed everything right uh didn't know there was an update super bobcat welcome dances with sheep hello art welcome welcome okay uh so we're gonna have to cope with a bit of an update because i had no idea they updated everything it looks like they've consolidated a lot of stuff so all the furniture and decoratives is in one tab all the outdoor stuff is in another and all like what's in but that doesn't make any sense why are you putting tools in with this? Okay, right. I'm going to have to kind of reacquaint myself with where everything is, like, even more than I usually do. So walls is still still paint. Okay, good. Excellent. And molding is now in walls. That makes a certain degree of sense. Got it. Um, how about what's young flower bud look like when it's at home? Wait, small, medium, and large? Wait, there's different size paint cans? Okay. This is, um, yeah, that's a very large paint can. You're not wrong. Identical, welcome. Welcome, welcome. Leave my PC alone for two seconds and my sister comes. Oh, okay, those those are two independent thoughts, I think. Um, but welcome to your sister, too. Um, I'm glad glad to have her here as well. Yeah, all right, I'm going to have to reacquaint. No, not the mop, Dave. That bit hasn't changed. Go with the paintbrush, please. M, welcome, welcome, welcome. It's Dave time. Well, it's house slipper time anyway. It's kind of the same thing at this point. All right, so every tab has been consolidated. Everything's somewhat in a different place. And there's different size paint cans now. All right, there's always changing something in House Slipper. I'll learn to cope with it, as I always do. I mean, I won't. I'll still muddle my way through it. But we'll try and get through it. Yeah, I'm okay with this color. This is an okay color. This is kind of the same color I have in my bathroom. I chose that color. Mrs. Dave isn't ecstatic about it, but we're all learning to cope with it. All right, so fill that up. I mean, it is nice that I have different size paint cans because then I can just, you know, have more paint, which is a very sensible thing to have. But, I j okay, we're going to have to go through lots and lots of tabs and figure out where everything is again as we do around here. All right, so get all of that. All right, yep, I'll refill my paint roller. Don't worry, don't worry. It's all going to be fine, house slipper. Stop panicking, everybody. Stop panicking. Mostly house slipper. I just want that to stop panicking. All right, get all of that in there. Now, do I have to do under the doors like I do back on Earth? No, apparently I don't. Apparently I don't. Uh, it shouts moon base. It does. It does. This is a green that says I live on the moon. And it, it's a very specific color blend. It actually, the, the name of the paint is I live on the moon. Uh, it's a very exclusive brand. You can't buy this just anywhere. Uh, there's very few places that will even ship to the moon. So you're right. It does exactly scream, I live on the moon, because that's pretty much the name of the color. I mean, it can say young flower bud all it wants, but it's I live on the moon. Let's get this. Now, do I have to, I have to do under here. 
but I might do that with this room, whatever that turns out to be. I'm not sure what that's going to be yet. I'll have a think about that. I'll keep one of the I Live on the Moon paint colors. Oh, I got a new skill point. Yay. Um, am I going to go all the way down here? Yeah, I totally am. I totally am. Um, let me let me move one of these paint cans down here, sort of in this neck of the woods right here. Okay, back to painting. That's that one, Dave. Let's get some more color on some more walls, just flesh out all of the hallway, and then see what I want to do with that information. I think I've got, what, two potential bedrooms I can do here? I don't know how many people want to live on the moon. I mean, is this a two-bedroom moon house? Uh, Illusimaki, you're not late, you're exactly on time. I am just glad you're here. Getting a lot of screen tearing now with House Slipper. I'm not quite sure what's up with that. It never used to do that. I'd pay good money for a paint sprayer upgrade. Yeah, yeah, that would not be a bad idea. I mean, they do, with the skill perks, you do get to paint, you know, double tiles at the same time and a lot faster. So painting does get a lot faster as you move up. It's the tiling that takes forever. Tiling is just a monster in this game. Uh, Martin, welcome, welcome, welcome. But you, you can paint a little bit faster, but yeah, paint sprayer would not be a bad idea. I suppose they can't make it too easy. Otherwise, you could just sort of type in a few things and your house would be automatically painted and decorated. I guess I got to put some kind of effort in here on the moon, as it were. Um, basically, everything is bracketed with the phrase on the moon. Oh, I did do the bit under there. Okay, how did I... There. Okay, it's a very finicky spot there. Very hard to get the uh, cursor on that. That's okay. Vosseros, welcome. Willow, welcome, welcome, welcome. Can't stay the whole time. Got to take two pets to the vet. Oh, dear. I hope they're okay. Um, you know, or at least, you know, can can be okay in a reasonable period of time. Oh, yeah. I've missed a whole bunch of stuff around the doors here, haven't I? Okay, that's fine. We'll, we'll get it. We'll get it. Everybody stop panicking. We'll make it happen. I'd pay for a Mr. Beam paint bomb upgrade. Ooh, okay. I see where you're going with that. Like, just automatically paint the entire thing in one fell swoop. I could see that. All right, let's, uh, how much more paint do I have? This is a very big paint can. They weren't wrong about that. They said large paint can, and they definitely meant it. All right, let's get all of this done. There we go. And some more of this. And then I'm going to have to move some more paint cans, I think. So I want to get all of that. Oh, just can't quite reach. There we go. All right, so which doors didn't I get? I didn't get this one over here. Nails, trim, and blood work. Oh, okay. All right, that's not as um, that's not as critical. Well, I'm sure it is critical, but um, you know, it's not as worrying. Just some trimmed nails and draw a little bit of blood. No animal is a fan of that. Uh, get that in there and that one. Okay, okay. Starting to take shape around here. Starting to take shape around here. Let's get that. Uh, free game. Ho, ho, ho. Oh, I saw that. Ho, ho, home invasion. I saw that one pop up. Um, I don't remember much about it except for the title, which was rather funny. I saw that one pop up. All of this, please. And that. And some more of that. Let's get one of these paint can. Actually, before I do that, let me get around these doors because I know I haven't done that properly. Let's go there. Come, come here. No, put the paint back on the thing with the thing. Thank you. And that. And that. And come on, keep it coming there, bartender. There we go. Perfect. Okay, and now just the other one on the other side of the wall here. So get all of this in here and here and all of that. Come on, get in there. Get, get paint. Do the thing where we put the paint on the place that the paint goes in. Also, stay on the paint roller, please. I like that green. Yeah, I like this green, too. It's, it's as has already been commented, it's a green that says, I live on the moon. It's very obviously moon green, and it says to the world, hey, I live on the moon now, um, so don't mess with me, I guess. Not that you really could, because you live on the moon and nobody else does, so, you know, you got that working out in your favor there. Let's get all of this going. I'm trying to kind of half figure out where the living room sort of area is going to go. Wait until Darth Vader hears about this decor. Uh, cause it's a, it's not a moon? Is that, is that where we're going? Or are we making an Obi-Wan joke? I mean, I'm, I'm totally okay with that. Uh, are we going with, it's not a moon? Is that the reference? If so, um, uh, good. Basically good is my, is my summation on that. Get that in there, that in there, and if we've got enough left, that one right there. Excellent. This is going to be done in no time. We'll have this wrapped up painting issue gone, done. 
signed, sealed, delivered, passed off to somebody else, and promptly thrown in the trash. That and that. All right. Fill up my very large paint can because they come in sizes now. I wonder what else they've updated. I, I, I don't know. I, I did not plan on do, doing updaty stuff in House Flipper. I was just going to kind of keep working on the moon here, but... Apparently, we've got new tabs to deal with. It's kind of a soothing green. It is soothing. As I said, this is kind of the paint that I have in my bathroom. It's a little lighter in my bathroom, a little little lighter green, but it's basically kind of the same color. Mrs. Dave wasn't a huge fan of it, but I got to paint the bathroom. I got to choose the color for that. She chose colors for other areas, like the office I'm working in right now, which is sort of a pale blue thing that she chose. It's very sort of neutral and, you know, sort of non-threatening blue. As opposed to downstairs, where we've just got this brutal burgundy going on. It's great. I love it. Makes the room pitch black, but I do like it. We've talked about changing it because it does make the room sort of pitch black, but we haven't yet. There's a YouTube video where they actually make a real lightsaber. I did not know that. I'm not surprised by that, but I did not know that. You are all going into here. Thank you. Good. Okay, does that cover all the door areas? It should should be good there and then a little bit more and we'll finish off this hallway i gotta figure out what i'm gonna do with it i think the hallway might end up being the living room area i kind of get a feel for that uh you are already painted you're already painted all of this is already painted and that bit okay good 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 and that did you know with Bobcat you can legally own a black powder cannon in all 50 states? Cannons are not considered destructive advices because they are muzzle loaders. Yeah, I think that's pretty much true everywhere. You can do any any sort of black powder stuff because, um, well, they're antiques. They're not considered to be like actual firearms. I know my uncle, um, who could not get a firearms permit, was allowed to have all the black powder stuff that he wanted. I mean, there's really, how much damage can you really do to that? in a in a hurry i mean you're basically getting one shot and then you know you've got 20 minutes to reload your weapon after that uh yeah no it's true boss ross anything black powder is kind of uh free game you can have all the cannons and muzzle loading rifles that you want if you want to go play revolutionary war you are good to go okay if we presume that this is going to be the kitchen and that may or may not be a bedroom. That will likely... Oh, maybe that's the living room area. That might be the living room area. It kind of makes more sense. I mean, you wouldn't want a bedroom with a glass door. That doesn't... That seems very silly. That could be a very tiny bedroom. Maybe I'll just do a very tiny bedroom. Uh, do I want to get rid of that light? I don't really. I kind of like that light. Okay. If I was paint... Oh, yeah. I've got a new skill point, don't I? Well, that's my... It's my last one, then. I can only upgrade that. I've got all the painting perks. Every single painting perk. Uh, need to buy Dave a cannon. Well, I do have some neighbors who could who could use a little wake-up call. That would not be the worst idea. Okay. What, what have you done here, House Flipper? What the heck is beta rewards? Oh, it's like a thing. Oh, I should put a thing up that says I was playing House Flipper before it was cool. Because I was. I totally was. Yeah, I'm going to put that up somewhere. Uh, I want one of those, please. It's kind of fitting on the moon, which is, you know, it's not really the last house, but it is kind of the last house because you're going to the moon. I'm going to put that in the bathroom right there. Perfect. Because uh, I totally was. I was playing House Slipper before it was cool. Uh, you can kill someone with it, but it'll take a little longer. Pro cannon, now they're safer. Excellent. Uh, room could be an office. You're not wrong. Not wrong. I'd like to squeeze two bedrooms out of here if possible. That would be my goal. I suppose I could just get rid of this door and put in another one. I think I will. Get rid of that door and then call me in the morning, basically. Crimson, welcome, welcome, welcome. Yeah, let's, uh, I want a door. Can we do, there's no big, like, double doors that aren't made of glass, right? No, I'd have to put in a wall. Uh, okay. Sure, put in this door. I always like this door. Give me one of those and have that live right here. Okay, so far so good. Now I need a wall to go here. Come here. Why? Why are you not letting me do that? 
What, what's your problem with the... Oh, because the lintel. Right, the lintel. Sledgehammer time. Okay, we can solve your problem very, very quick. Did I just sell all of that paint? I'm going to kind of need that again. It's okay. It's fine. Everyone's fine. Everything is totally fine. Now I can do walls in here. Okay, so wall. Wall. Come on, build me a wall. There you go. And another one. And another one. Keep it coming, bartender. And come on, come, come here. That one in here. There's dirt on the map. Is there? Oh my god, there is. You're right. Uh, I also just put that wall in completely the wrong place because I was reading chat while I was doing that. Excuse me, I just have to sledgehammer something real, real quick. I'll be right back. Okay, make all of that go away. And then come, come yep, there we go. And then put the wall back where I had it in the first place. Right there. Okay, get out of all of that. I just, there it is. I see it. Where is it? Uh, well, just go to my broom, I guess. Is it here? Oh, there it is. I got it. I got it. Okay, it's all fine. What's directly ahead of me? What is the yellow? Is that... Oh, it's that thing. Oh, okay. All right, I can get rid of that. That's easy enough. Boom. Done. Solved your yellow problem right there. Okay, now I've got to go back to the paint. Do I maybe just have enough in my roller to bang this out? That'd be pretty sweet if I did. Yeah, I kind of just did. Okay, that makes a little more sense now. That more looks like a bedroom. That makes some sense. All right, well, let's go back to the idea of office then. One of these is going to be a bedroom. One of these is going to be an office. And again, if it's going to be a bedroom, it really shouldn't have that door. I personally would not like a glass door in my bedroom. I'd prefer something a little more, oh, I'm going to say private. I'm going to go with the word private. So how about... Ooh, maybe... Oh, there's a Christmas door. Oh, that's kind of nice. How about this one? That looks very bedroom door right there. Let's get that to live right there. Open that up. All right, now we're getting somewhere on the moon. Just put the phrase on the moon after everything. It'll all be fine. Uh, close that for a while. This could be a living room. This could be a bedroom. The other one could be a bedroom or an office. Ye or this could be like a huge master bedroom and then another bedroom and an office and I just make all of this like one big living room, dining room area as I traditionally do. No one will see you naked on the moon except for the other people you live with. I mean, they might. Anyway, they might. So I see what you're saying. No, no reason not to have a glass door because nobody is peeking in on you. However, there are probably other people living with you on the moon. And therefore, you'd probably not want to have glass doors in your bedroom unless you really, really like them a lot. Or, conversely, if they really, really like you a lot, they might be really into that. Let's go with the office idea. I think I can get down with that. Let's go with, what would you can paint the office? What are we thinking for that? Maybe some tiles. How about wall tile, wall panels? Anything brand new in here? Not that I'm necessarily seeing. No, no Christmassy things. No, pretty much the same. Oh, that's fun. I don't think I've used that before. Yeah, let's get that in here. One, two, I might need more. Let's get a couple more in there. And then go to this thing and that. All right, here we go. And that 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 and that. Two more. One, two. Boom. That. Oh, yeah. This is going to be very red. It's going to be very, very, very red. This is going to be one of the reddest things I've ever done in here. It, I, actually, I take it back. Tiling moves fairly quickly. It's just that you run out of tiles very, very fast. What with you only being able to hold 10 of them in your hands at any given point. So give me that, please. Uh, where will the moon disco go? Good question. We'll figure out somewhere for it. There's, there's a spot for moon disco somewhere. I just don't know what it is yet. It will have its place. That and that and that. Do we actually know that there's officially disco balls in this? Because that's going to put a real crimp on the whole... Could you close the door, please? Real crimp on the whole moon disco if there's not actually, you know, any disco ball. Because you can't really do it without disco ball. That's kind of what disco is. So get rid of those, get rid of those. Um, is there? Okay. Well, let's find out. Uh, let's find out. So let's go here and then get out of that. 
and look for... Now, am I just searching in this tab, or am I searching in all of them? Uh, apparently, I also have my caps lock on. All right, there's nothing here that says the word disco, which is very unfortunate. I'm already sad about that. But we'll figure something out. Uh, where is that now, though? What would installations, I guess, would be lights, right? No, you're going to say that that's basically furniture. There's lights. Okay. So what kind of light says disco party? I don't think we've got anything that's going to, like, flash, do we? Do we have any kind of strobe light or anything around here? I don't think that we do. Well, that's going to put a crimp on the whole disco. Okay, we'll have to cross that bridge when we come to it. Uh, get out of this and open up the door just so I can kind of see what I'm doing here. All right, it definitely needs better walls. Uh, yeah, we could try ball. I mean, I just went through all the lights and I didn't see anything there. Uh, what can you show me in anything that says the word ball? Yeah, it's still just, just the regular ones. Yeah, I don't think there's anything that we're going to be able to do with a disco ball or indeed any flashing lights. Very unfortunate. Just me, welcome. Uh, waiting for cyberpunk gameplay. Um, I've, I've gone through about the first 57 minutes of it. So I did the little uh, sort of intro story and then I did all the combat tutorials. So that's where I'm at right now. So basically I've just, you know, started the game up at that point. And as many other people had said, character customization is going to take a while. Boy, there's a lot of customization in that game if you want there to be, and I did. I did not realize how um, adult the customization was. I mean, certainly the most I've ever seen in a game, and I played Conan. I've, I've played the Conan MMO, and that that is very adult in its customization. This went way beyond that. Way beyond that. Uh, we have Disco Spirit. You know what? You're right, Em. You're right. Disco is in the soul. It's not in the lights. You're so right, Em. Thank you for setting us straight there. It's not in the lights. It's in the soul. Uh, furniture. Uh, let's go to... Oh, no. I didn't want to do kids. I wanted to do desks. Everything's in a different place now. Okay, there's actually an office tab, though. That's cool. And, uh, yeah, I can get down with some of this. We may as well... I mean, we're on the moon. We may as well do cyber desk. Yeah, let's do... Oh, wow, that's a big old chunky desk. Right. Okay, so that exists now. I wasn't impressed with the customization. There were some things that were... Okay, here's what I'll say about this art. Some things were amazingly detailed, and some things were lacking. Like, I was going through the customization going, Really? I can't do this? In terms of customization? I can't point to specifics exactly and say, This... But I remember going through it saying, wow, that is incredibly detailed in terms of customization. And then I would get to another point and go, really? I, I can't change that about me? I think it was largely in the face. I would have actually liked to see more facial customization than what I had. Um, but boy, when they get down to the, um, the, the less clothed parts in Cyberpunk 2077, uh, boy, that, um, I was not expecting that level of detail. Uh, or choice, frankly. I was rather shocked at some of the choices. I mean, I'm impressed with some of the choices you were able to execute. But um, I was like, oh, okay, I can I can do that right on. Okay, uh, so let's put that right here. Nice metal filing cabinet. Okay, so these cabinets belong to Mr. 401, 402, and 403. Now, let's get some lights going on with this. The handles go with the wallpaper. Yeah, they kind of do. Unintentionally matching there. I need to get... All the tabs are in different places now. Okay, it's just nothing is where I expect it, so this this may take me a while. I mean, I get some nice flashing... Well, no, they're not flashing, but I get some nice red lights here. I mean, that's pretty good. We'll get that to go right there. Turn the light on, please. Oh, I do love the lighting effects in this game. Uh, I would have liked having a bit more control of starting skills. Uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, it's not it's not perfect. It's not a perfect game by any stretch of the imagination. Again, I've only only put in the first hour. I've basically done the tutorial. That's what I've handled at this point. But I'm enjoying it. I, I think a lot of... This may be yet another game like Phoenix Point where they may have set the bar too high. This was supposed to be the game. The game of 2020. This was supposed to be it. It was basically 
as far as my opinion is concerned, it was this and Crusader Kings 3, and those were the two games of the year. And I think they may have actually set the bar a little bit too high for themselves. Oh, cat headphones. Yeah, totally. Totally. Of course. Why would I why would you think I didn't want these game? Why didn't you show me this when we loaded the game in? And they matched the room. So it's certainly not perfect. They, they again they may have set the bar a teensy tiny bit too high on this, but I think it's solid. I'm certainly having a great time playing it. Oh no, I'm putting in that hanging one. I like the hanging wall monitor. I wish I had one of these myself. That would be so cool. Uh, oh, they look so neat. Yeah, put that right there. Uh, except not right there because it's not quite even. Come, come here with the... I should have probably put the chair in last. Uh, how about you live right there? Better, 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 better. All cyberpunk game development go to the customization, especially choosing your package. <laughs> yeah, and there's some choice there. Uh, again, there was some unexpected choice. I, I won't go into too much detail because, you know, I try to keep it PG-13 here. And um, I appreciate it. YouTube appreciates it. And I think a lot of the audience appreciate it. I think a lot of you guys appreciate um, the lack of language here. But holy McMoley, I was not expecting that level of customization in terms of um, how I could define myself, I guess would be a really good way of putting it. I would like to put the, I'd like to put the tower under. I'm going to have to move this chair just temporarily. Uh, come here. You have to go live somewhere else out in the hallway. You're going to have to be the last thing that goes in. I'd like to put you ideally under here, but you're not super going to let me... Uh, you kind of let me do it. Could you live right there? Yeah, there you go. You can live right there. Reminds me of the original Deus Ex. I didn't play the original Deus Ex. I played a little bit of one of them. I can't remember which one. I, maybe number two, I think, possibly. Uh, but I haven't played the original one. So I'll take your word on that. Holographic globe definitely has to go here um, with all of that. Yeah, there we go. Um, oh, oh, wow, that's so much bigger than I thought it was. Okay, that's pretty huge. I don't dislike that. I wanna, I'm wanna. i going to go put that in this room so I know that it exists and I have it later. Uh, is that something that I turn on? I want to, yeah. Oh, that's very cool. I like that. I look like I should be a James Bond villain planning my assault. That's good stuff. I dig that. But yeah, no, I'm, I'm definitely enjoying it. I, do, I don't think there's anything wrong with it. I think they just may have oversold themselves. And obviously, you know, they're having their own issues now with, um, you know, last gen consoles and all that, not really being able to keep up with it. I've had no problem with it on, on my, um, my desktop, I wouldn't even attempt to play it on my laptop. That would, that would just be, I'd just be inviting the thing to burst into flames, really. But um, no, on my on my desktop, it runs just fine. So I haven't had any problems with that. I've been enjoying it. The very little that I've had a chance to play, I've been enjoying it a great deal. And I look forward to playing more of it. So yeah, they may have just oversold themselves a little bit. Uh, mission six, I spent some time walking back to my apartment from a job, enjoying the city, doing a side mission, accidentally getting involved in a police shootout. I think that's been, in the very brief time that I've had to play it, that's been the enjoyable part for me. And that's why I'm not rushing through it. I really want to take my time with it and fully enjoy all the bits that it has. Like when I got out of the little intro story that they play, um, I basically just kind of walked around. And I apparently I walked around and rooted through trash and talked to homeless people because that's where you are. I'm hoping for some items. You know, I'm always looking to loot, always trying to get the looting done. But um, yeah, it's just very cool environment to walk around with. I think I think it's going to be a lot of fun to play it. I'm really looking forward to putting some more time into it. I just maybe they raised the bar a little bit too high, like Phoenix Point. Phoenix Point came out and said we're the next XCOM 2. In fact, we're better than XCOM 2. And I, along with many other people, said yeah, you're you're good, but you're not better than XCOM 2. If you just come out and said, we're a pretty darn good tactical RPG, then I would have been like, yeah, fine, great. But no, you came out and said, I'm better than XCOM 2. Well, I've got some very strong opinions about that. Thank you very much. Uh, as far as the issues on last-gen consoles, who in their right mind would expect a game designed to work on next-gen to run on 10-year-old hardware? Truth. Yeah, no, I, I think a lot of it is... Um, I, I, I want to use the term sour grapes, but it's not really sour grapes. It's just people who didn't really understand what this what the specs for this were going to require um, but and then got bent out of shape where, as you exactly say, they were expecting it to run well on 10-year-old hardware. I would, I mean, my, my laptop is 
nowhere near 10 years old, and I don't even dream that it can run that game. Again, it runs fine on my desktop. It has absolutely my desktop has no problems with it whatsoever. But uh, my laptop, it would just actually burst into flames if I tried to do that. What do I think? All right, where where do where do decorations live now? Uh, actually, give me accessories. Oh, there's new things. Oh, there's new things. Oh, guys, there's new things. Oh, new things. Um, oh, I've got to put no entry signs up. Yeah, like everywhere. Um, many, many no entry signs are going to live here because it's the moon. It's, it's the moon. Everyone plays these cool games, uh, nostalgic Sims 2. There's absolutely nothing wrong with Sims 2. I love Sims 2. I, I, I like all the versions of the Sims and they all had different things to recommend them. Um, we probably shouldn't be leaving the door open on the moon, I think. I'm just going to guess. Um, I like all the iterations of the Sims um, but I do, I do have a fondness for Sims 2 because I think that's when they did, um, what am I trying to say here? The shops, like making your own shop. I think that's when they did that the best. Um, real, you could really make pretty much any kind of store you wanted, and I really enjoyed that in The Sims 2. I, I think it, it got back Bernard in Sims 3, and it actually wasn't as good. But then there's things I like about Sims 3 that are not in Sims 2, and even the original Sims has some things to recommend it. Although I probably would not go back to it today. Uh, so get all of that done. Why does that not seem... Ah, I see the problem. You are one notch too small. Okay, so definitely no entry into the office. No, no entry. Uh, Art says Sims 3 was the pinnacle. I will say Sims 3 is the one I keep going back to. Yeah, if I want to play The Sims, I go and I play Sims 3. There are velvet ropes here now. Velvet ropes. Uh, super. We're totally... Somebody's going to have to remind me that all of these things exist. Oh, there's actual legit bikes now. Oh, those were things we couldn't... I mean, they could be in a house, but we couldn't just buy them. Oh, yeah, let's get a pinky bicycle. Pinkes. Pink, pinkes? Pinkes. Anyway, we're going to have a bike on the moon. You're going to be able to do awesome, like, BMX tricks on the moon. Uh, so this is going to go live... Uh, right over here, I think. Right about here. Okay, there's your bike for the moon. There we go. Uh, speaking of accidental police shootouts, I ran across that in GTA San, San Andreas. Ruined my stealth mission. Yeah, I, um, I mean, I haven't obviously done anything at all. I've, I've honestly just done the intro story uh, to, you know, start the game in any way, shape, or form. And then the combat tutorials, uh, which were... Which were good. I mean, it's basically... I don't think there were any surprises in the sort of controls for combat. I think I was expecting them to be pretty much exactly what they were, and they are. Um, the hacking may take me a little while. I might I might actually go through and do that tutorial again, because there are some elements that I, I kind of understood, but I'm, I will totally forget them by the time I need them. What's specialized items? Oh, the velvet ropes and whatnots. Okay, cool. They're always throwing some new stuff in here. I dig that. Uh, how about hobby? What's in hobby? Okay, surfboards we've seen. Oh, it's a dog couch. Okay, it's not a regular couch. It's a dog couch. And then books are apparently a hobby. Right, a guitar. We've seen that before. I'm just making sure there's nothing else new in here that I was not previously aware of. Let's have um, a little red book in here, just in case it's kind of Chairman Mao territory. Let's put that on right there. And I need, oh, I, was, I came in here for a ceiling lamp. I hate hacking mini games in all games. Mod those out if I can. I'm generally not a fan, but when you're going with what is effectively a stealth game, or it can be if you want it to be, then there, I, I didn't dislike it. I hope it's not going to be the primary thing that I need to do. I hope the game is going to give me the option of going in guns a-blazing if I choose to do that. I hope it's not going to be like you have no chance of doing this mission unless you do all the stealthy, hacky things. That would not be my preference. I like uh, I like options. Um, you know, I can, like, something like a, a Fallout where I can go stealth, I can go conversational, I can go in guns blazing. I like I just like my options in games. Ooh, that kind of goes with the room. Let's put that in there. Let's get, oh, wow, that is, uh, that's a big one. Okay, put that right there. It's, it's terrible. Okay, get rid of that. That's the worst thing I've ever seen in my life. I'm never, ever doing that again. How about just a regular old lamp? 
There we go. Ceiling lamp. Sign me up. Let's get one right in the middle there. And then, do I actually have a light switch in here? Yeah, I do. Turn the lights on. There we go. Now we can get something done in here. All right, I'll put the chair back in at some point. You want to John Wick stuff? I do. I Well, at bare minimum, I want the option of it. I would like to know that I can. I would like my engagements to have choice. My choice, specifically. So I could go in and be stealthy, stealthy, and use all the cyber hacking things to, you know, like, basically kill people without me being anywhere near them. That's all really cool. Uh, there's a lot of sort of watchdogs elements in it where you can remotely hack things and, you know, do distractions and blow people up and all that kind of stuff. But I also want the option of just walking in the door and shooting everything I see. That's that's That would be another option that I would like to have. Um, what do I feel? Let me look at... Okay, that's just those things again. What would be... Oh, they've, they've re-tabbed everything. Okay, so now rugs is in floor decorations. We're going to have to remember that. I can't be counted on to remember that myself. Oh, there's doormats now. Oh, that's fun. Oh, we're putting a doormat on the moon. We're absolutely putting a doormat on the moon. Um, This one with the dog paw. Yeah, we're going to put a doormat on the moon. Because, you know, we want to welcome people. We especially want to welcome people because they traveled a really, really long way to get here. So we are going to welcome you to our moon house. Yay! I like that. That's good. Kind of wish there were a few better options for conversational solutions to some missions that require having an actual speech or charisma skill. Yeah, I don't know. I, you know, I obviously, again, I've, I've done one hour in the game and I look forward to many more, but, um, you know, they're not going to happen quickly. So... Oh, they put more, oh, they put more artwork in here. Oh dear, I'm gonna have to go through all of this now. Right, so um, Vancouver is represented here. Ooh, universe in a jar. Yeah, let's get one of them. How about a medium one of them, please? Can that fit sort of right here? Yeah, I like that. Very inspirational, I think. Inspirational. There's always been doormats. Really. I've totally missed those. Maybe it's a good thing that they retabbed everything. Clearly, there's a lot of stuff that I've missed. If that was in there, hi kitty, hi kitty, scary kitty, it's a good kitty. Okay, uh, get out of that. Go to what's in hanging. Okay, I've, these I know. These ones I've seen. Uh, mirrors, not so much. How about standing decorations? That's vases, the screens. That's all good stuff. Okay. Yeah, nothing's really jumping out at me. Welcome to the moon. Please have this plate of milk and cookies. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Oh, yeah, let's have a best dad trophy. Because apparently best dad lives on the moon. Right there. That's where best dad... This is best dad's office. It's a little... It's a little something. But that's where best dad lives. All right, now what? I do kind of want a rug. And so that is in... Floor decorations. Got it. Okay, what could you show me in something reasonably small? Um, oh, maybe the Halloween one. Maybe the heart. Yeah, I could see the heart one. Or this one, maybe? I do use this one a fair bit, but it's a nice rug. I kind of like it. What if that lived right here? Yeah, that kind of works. Oh, this definitely needs something. It's something on this wall. Uh, Scott that got that for Dr. Evil. <laughs> Excellent. Um, I need... Uh, where are shelves now? Okay, I'm gonna... I, I know I can just search for it. I just want to see if I can kind of vaguely find it. Furniture? I'm gonna guess furniture? No, no, not quite. Probably not in survival. Okay, where is it? I give up. Where's shelves? Uh, shelf is... Well, it could be anywhere. Who knows? How about the hanging shelf? Get me one of those. That could go... Uh, yeah, no. 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 I don't like that shelf. I, I want a different shelf that's not that shelf. Basically not that shelf at all. Maybe... Maybe one of these. I'm going to put one up and see how I feel about it. Nope, I already hate it. Okay, it's got to be artwork then. It's going to have to be 
something a little more artsy. Decorations, uh, hanging decorations is not what I wanted. I wanted pictures and paintings. All right, we've done Universe in a Jar. We've done Tennis. Um, that, oh, Kitty. I could do Kitty. There's several kitties to choose from. I like them all. Retro Red Car? Fat Fox? I don't care how many times you say Red Panda. It's a fat fox. It's just a fox that let himself go. Uh, pancakes we're going to do in the hallway. Don't even worry about that. We got pancakes, co pancakes covered. Hi, kitty. Kitty, kitty. Okay, kitty. Yeah, kitty. We're doing kitty. Uh, no, I need bigger kitty than that. I need a much bigger kitty than that. Uh, give me medium kitty, please. Yeah, there we go. There's a kitty. Oh, yeah. Hi, kitty. I kind of want to stand on my head. Okay. Now I think the chair can go back in here. I'm going to revisit that room. I'm not 100% not sure that I'm done with it yet. But we'll, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. It's basically okay. I feel there's something else that needs to go here. Like a plant or something? Maybe a plant? Uh, we're not seeing you next Friday. Oh, is next Friday Christmas? Then yeah, no, probably not. Probably not. Although, you know, Christmas is going to be a little subdued for the Dave family. I'm sure for many people, too, it's going to be rather subdued. It's just mostly going to be me and Mrs. Dave and uh, briefly my mother. But uh, we're, we're not doing a big thing for Christmas. We're not doing our usual running all over the place. Um, so I... It's not that I couldn't stream next Friday. It's just that, A, it's Christmas, and I want to spend that, obviously, with Mrs. Dave. And, B, you guys want to spend time with your families, too. Um, you've got things to do on Christmas that don't involve me. So, um, I uh, no, short answer, no. Uh, if, if Friday is indeed Christmas, which I'm assuming you're saying it is, then, no, we won't do a stream next Friday. So you guys can, you know, obviously spend time with your families and do your Christmassy things, or whatever, oh, there's dirt, hang on, or whatever holiday things you like to do, uh, whatever, oh god, there's so much dirt, there's so much dirt around here, um, make it, make it stop, which, which one is the hose again, there it is, okay, that's all gotta go away, oh, that dirt might be inside, is that inside, or is it outside, I, I can't tell, I feel I should be standing right on it, is it, okay, is it here, is that it, there. Okay, that's that bit. Then there's some more around here somewhere. I got that. Is there any other dirt I'm not aware of? I was just very fussy. Okay, back to work here. Back to work. No, no, we're not cleaning anything right now. All right. Yeah, maybe a plant. Maybe some kind of plant needs to live in here. So that was a long-winded way of answering your question, which is, uh, no, I didn't intend to stream on Christmas. I do have, um, thanks to uh, thanks to Boss Ross, I do have a very fun game we can put out a little little thing for Christmas that will uh, be very Christmassy themed, but I don't have um, any specific plans to stream on that day because I figure you guys have got um, important things to do, like spending the holiday with people that you care about. Um, oh wait, Voss Ross sees dirt. Um, not that we don't care about each other here. I, I that was not my intention. Um, but you know, long story short, it's Christmas, so we probably. Um, we can probably find things to do with our families then. I'm just going to do a quick walk around. I seem to have missed a lot of outside dirt around here. There's the bike. I'm going to hose down the bike to get the moon dust off of it because we're on the moon, you see. A uh, bunch of dirt you missed, but I didn't want to point it out again. All right, that's okay. There's one. I see that one. Okay, can we? There we go. All right. Just doing a perimeter sweep here for dirt. Looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. Okay, I think we can go back to work here. Right. Uh, back to plants. Back to planty things. How about... What does this look like? What does this do? Oh, that's very big. That's very, very big. Does that go in here at all? Not... Not really. No. How about a nice small plant for the desk? I could see that. What's, uh... Maybe a cactus. Yeah, how about a cactus for the... And put it in that bowl, please. Thank you very much. In Denmark, Christmas, or Jul, as it's called here, celebrated on the 24th. Ah, well, we actually, um, we like Boxing Day. We still do kind of Boxing Day stuff around here. I think Boxing Day is a great holiday. It's like Christmas Part 2. I know when we lived in England, Boxing Day was 
the day that you went and saw the family that you didn't see on Christmas. So usually there were two sides of the family. You'd go do one on Christmas and the second one on Boxing Day. And it's great if you're a kid, if you get more presents. Um, this is interesting. What does this do? Huh. Kind of like that. I don't necessarily like it here. I'm going to go put this in the room that I'm putting all the other stuff in so I remember that it exists. Maybe that's the room. One globe, one plant, call it a day. Uh, with my sick kitty, Chris, Christmas being a very big drag. I'm sorry to hear that, Em. I'm sorry your kitty is sick. I'm sorry Christmas may not be as festive for you. It's going to be kind of, it's not that it's going to be like a bummer for everyone, but it's a, it's a weird Christmas. Because, we, you know, you can't really get together with people like you want to. Um, it's just, again, it's just going to be basically me and Mrs. Dave. And for a brief period of time around lunch, um, my mother. So that's about it for us. Uh, even though, you know, a bunch of Mrs. Dave's family are right here in the same town, we're, we're just, you know, not going to go celebrate with them for obvious reasons. Um, and very, you know, obvious and... Um, sensible reasons, I guess, is the word I'm looking for there. Oh, I can break it down into small plants. Oh, that's cool. I didn't know I could do that. Well, I, I didn't, because I, I couldn't do that. No, that's terrible. That's an awful plant. Why did I want that? Uh, I still have Boxing Day here, which is also a holiday. This year's the Saturday, so it's a waste of a holiday. Yeah, it's always kind of a bummer when the holiday's on the weekend. I feel like he got cheated somehow. Um, get me one of these guys, please. Yeah, that's a little more like it. One there. Yeah, a couple of plants. That kind of perks the place up a little bit. Okay, now this is starting to come together. A little bit, anyway. Did you know with Bobcat, similar to black powder weapons, call guns are unregulated in the U.S. with commercial sales becoming more common. I've missed not being able to meet people in the run-up to Christmas. Yeah, that's always cool, too. Yeah, we don't have that either. I mean, nobody has that this year. Uh, oh, some chives. Definitely some chives. I love chives. Uh, let's get those to live. There we go. Now it's looking a little more fun around here. But yeah, that kind of runoff where you, you know, sort of spend time with family and friends and whatnot. Um, but no, no, we don't really get to do much of any of that. Uh, but, you know, again, for very obvious and sensible reasons. And I think we're looking pretty good that next year will be completely different and largely back to normal. We hope that will be the case. But right now it ain't. So we're just kind of living with what we got. It'll just be, you know what? It wasn't terrible for Thanksgiving. It was actually weirdly kind of nice. It was very chill. We had just a very tiny, tiny Thanksgiving with just three people, uh, one of which was me. So, you know, that barely counts. And um, it was actually kind of nice overall because when it was over, we were already home. That's the only, that's the only nice part of this season, this holiday season is because we're not going anywhere. We're already home when it's done. Kind of like it. We don't have to do any traveling. Um, we do, you know, Mrs. Dave and I do um, kind of a frantic Christmas. Usually it's very fun. It's awesome. But it can be very fr frantic in that we're, you know, going to one part of the family and then driving about an hour, hour and a half to go to the next part of the family and then driving all the way home from that at night. So it is kind of nice that we can just sort of chill in the house. Uh, absolutely chives chives in the office. Absolutely chives in the office. Uh, and Willow's going to the vet. Okay, thank you. I'm glad it's nothing serious. Uh, and it, yes, you folk have you have a great Christmas treat to Willow. If I don't see you tomorrow or whenever, yeah, awesome. Have a fantastic holiday season, whatever you guys choose to do. And I'm glad your pets, it's nothing serious. Sounds like just a bit of grooming and a teeny tiny bit of blood taken. Uh, what do I want to do? Not really feeling the season yet. I, you know, I'm kind of with you, Ethan. I'm kind of with you. It's just very weird this year. I'm just sort of not... It's not that I'm... I'm I, I, it's just I'm not enthusiastic like I usually am. Like, I'm, you know, I'm usually excited to go Christmas shopping. I look forward to it. And, you know, it's all still fun and all, but it's going to be... It's just very, very, very subdued. It's just sort of very subtle. Oh, an alarm clock. I'm going to put an alarm clock in the office because that'll really annoy best dad. Um, it'll just go off at random times because somebody will walk in and set it. Okay. I'm going to walk away from this room for right now. I might come back to it. I broadly like it. Everyone is very clear that they are not allowed to come in here. I think that's been well documented here. I think... Well, let's get... 
let's get the pancake thing taken care of now while we've got time. So pictures and paintings, get me to some pancakes, please. I said I was doing pancakes throughout the hall and I meant it. Uh, there's the obese fox, there's pancakes. Give me some large ones and we'll see how we proceed. Wow, large is so large. Do I even have room to put one of those up? Yes, yes I do, barely. How can we squeeze that? Right up in there. Okay. That's a huge photo of pancakes. Christmas is weird this year. I still have all the extra hard work. Won't get any of the usual fun because we got to be safe. Yeah, exactly. Uh, favorite wine is two for one. Well, then you are all set. Wine on the beach for Mel. Yeah, P.S. Mel, thank you for the awesome photo of paradise while we were under a foot of snow. Mrs. Dave really appreciated that one. She drew it to my attention. I hadn't seen it yet. And she's like, did you see what Mel put up on Discord? And I said, was it a photo of paradise? And she said, yes. Yes, it was. Meanwhile, it was uh, a blizzard, you know, right outside our door. So really appreciate that one. Thank thank you so much. Um, we, we, um, we had a good old time, good old chuckle about that one, Mrs. Dave and I, about uh, your photo of paradise while we were out shoveling snow. Lots and lots of snow. So much snow. Um, put that there. Can I squeeze one more in here? Yes, I can. Okay, many pancakes, many, many pancakes. Uh, where is Mia? I don't know where Mia is. Uh, she popped up on the Discord. <coughs> Shameless self-promotion link down below. She popped up on the Discord earlier. Is that the very smallest I can get? I'd like even smaller. Okay, well, I'm going to kind of tap out a pancake space around here then. I really only wanted it. Okay, I can get one in there. There, there we go. Put one right there. And then maybe one, can I squeeze one in right there? Yeah, I'm broadly okay with that. I'd be even better if I could get these to line up properly. So what about that? That doesn't quite line up. And it's not me this time. Somehow the sizes of those don't quite meet their borders. Oh well, I'll, I'll learn to broadly cope and I'll just cry a little later. That can go there. Okay, that wall's awesome. That wall is absolutely awesome. I might take down the ones over here because they don't, they kind of don't make as much sense. I think I'll just keep that one wall up. Yeah, I'm good with that. That's a lot of pancakes. That's a great number of pancakes. That's more pancakes than even I could eat in one sitting. Uh, so now what? I want to do, let's do kitcheny stuff. Let's do some kitcheny stuff. What do I feel? The wall, I'd like some brick. Could we get something in a brick? Uh, show me pla no, that's just plaster. How about wall tiles? I would love an exposed brick if we had something along those lines. Oh, those are fun. Oh, I'm going to do those. Those are very fun. Let's do these. Uh, that, that, that. I may not probably even need that many, but that's as many as I've got. Uh, obsessed with pancakes. Yes, we are. Yes, we, we, we pan there's nothing wrong with being obsessed with pancakes. It's a perfectly normal phenomenon. Uh, it's not even covered in the DSMR. It's just a, people just accept it's a perfectly normal, oh, these are, tiles are awesome. It's a perfectly normal way to react to pancakes. This is it. Okay, it's the tiling that takes forever. I'm clearly not very fast at this yet. Okay, this is going to take a while. Everybody get comfy. Uh, Brad's next Rising Star 2 song. I love that game. That game is so much more fun than it has any right to be. It shouldn't be this fun. It's basically like a first-person YouTuber's life, OMG, apparently, uh, with, with just the music, except, you know, an insane level. Where do you get to the, where do we get to the banners, Vosros? We, we do our first band banner next time, and um, it's pretty awesome. I'm going to tell you, if you saw a rock band with this banner behind them, you would be a fan of this rock band. I guarantee it. So let's get this to go in here. And yeah, the tiling is going to take a while. So everybody just pack a lunch and get comfy. We're going to be here for a little bit while I get this under control. That's going to go in there and there. Oh, I'm so slow at tiling. I am the slowest tiling. Come here. There we go. I am so slow at tiling. Oh, it's just painful. I'm so much. This is so awesome, though. I love this tile. This is really good. I would love to have this in the real world. It looks hideously expensive. I can't even imagine the artistry that have to go in to do all the fiddly bits at the top, but it looks great. It absolutely looks great. Get that, and then 
all of these bits in here. I might actually have to buy some more of these. I didn't realize this was going to take up so much tile. All right, put that in there. And then carry all of this over to here. Yeah, just like that. Thank you. Keep it coming. It looks a little weird when you do it under here because it's not the correct height of the tile. So it's just sort of chopping it up randomly, which looks very, very odd. But here we are. And then put that into there and there. Okay. A few more of these. Here we go. Oh, I only have five tiles in this hand. That's fine. That's fine. It's all fine. Everything's 100% fine. I mean, it does kind of look like a British subway, but in a cool way where I don't hate it. Uh, not that I traditionally have a lot of hatred for British subways. I don't, I don't honestly spend much time thinking about them, except for right now. I'm spending more time than I normally do thinking about them. But um, not generally, not generally. Get all of this in here and all of that over here. Yeah, I'm going to need some more tiles, aren't I? Well, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I might have just enough to get this done. It's going to be a great looking kitchen, though. There's going to be nothing wrong with this kitchen. I'll tell you that right now. That and this one. Okay. Maybe I've just got enough. I have five. Nope. I'm going to need some more. I'm definitely going to need one more package of those. We'll put that in there and that all the way over there. It's all going to be fine. Yeah. One more package and I'm good. I'm totally fine. All right, all right, all right, all right, game. I'm doing it. I'm buying another one. Thank you. See, there's one right there on the floor. Didn't have to flash that up quite so quickly there. Little aggro on that. Put that in there and that in there. And then get all of these in here. There we go. Okay, put those down and then get rid of them. And then step out and look at it. I get everything around the doors. I totally did. Oh, yeah, that's good stuff. And it kind of flows with the paint color here. If Dave was an 80s sitcom and the chat was supporting cast, what would be the plot synopsis or theme song? Oh, dear God. I, I would not, um, I don't think I would be the star. I would be sort of, I, I like to think I would be the wacky neighbor. I'd, I'd like to think I would be, yeah, the Kramer of all of it, where you just didn't quite know what was going to happen next, but I wouldn't be the star. Mio, welcome. We were just talking about you. Mia, welcome. And Jeffrey, yes, this green. There's a lot of green going on right now. I, I there's You're not wrong. There's an exceptional amount of green. Oh, Mia, check it. So we did pancake wall um, for you, actually, for you. We did pancake wall. We tried to do it over here, but it just didn't fit. Like the sizes of the paintings, uh, a painting, photograph of the pancakes didn't quite fit. So we've done pancake wall over here. Now we're going on to kitcheny things. And because they've changed... All of the tabs, I'm, I'm going to have to sort of suss out where everything is. Uh, so would it, no, it wouldn't be there. Actually, is there anything else in ladders while I happen to be looking at it? There's a step ladder. We were always looking for one of those. Um, go ahead and get, oh, what the heck is it? Is it electronic? Yeah, kitchen. Okay, kitchen. Here we go. The song would be One-Eyed, One-Horn, Flying Purple People Eater, Bop, and Suitable. Are we on Mars? Welcome, Sally Cat. No, we're on the moon. You're close. We'll, we're on the moon. Dave will be the Wilson of home improvement, minus the accurate facts. Yes, you'll never quite see me. Uh, I always I always liked that. I, I was not a big home improvement fan, um, but I, I did like Wilson. He was a very clever character. I like what they did with him. So let's start with... We're not. We don't have a ton of room. We don't have, like, an obscene amount of room here. So let's get a fridge to live here sort of right in this corner come on where, there, there you go where do you want to live i know you want to live here where, you just went green what's your deal there you go okay problem solved there now ooh, probably cabinets of some sort or stove except cabinets is going to be somewhere else hmm if i did this in everything jet black let no everything jet black thank you and i put that right here does that make sense i mean it doesn't you wouldn't put this right next to the fridge but we're gonna do it anyway uh, so get yourself to live right there I'm trying to figure out how many cabinets i can fit over here i don't genuinely know the answer to that so where are cabinets these days uh, furniture F furniture kitchen yeah there we go okay we figured it out 
We figured it out. Okay, so how many... Ooh, there's... Is that new? Have I seen this before? What does that look like? I don't think I've ever seen that. It's a, ki a corner cabinet. Okay, that's neat. I like that. If you wanted to live, like, like, right on that line, that'd be great. And then what can I follow that up with? Oh, I like you. You're good. If I bought a few of these, does that work? Uh, yeah, kind of. If you wanted to live, like, there, sort of there. Yeah, and then another one. And then, can I squeeze in one more? No, not quite. Okay. I don't hate it, but I think we could add some on the other side for even better. Did I miss you making any rooms? Ah, uh, yeah, we made kind of an office-y thing. I'll show that off in a sec, as soon as I do this. I mean, mostly it was pancake wall. Okay, it's not perfect, but I think if I get the right cabinets underneath, it could be. It could be. Is this... Now, that's a hanging cabinet. That's also a hanging cabinet. Ah, here's a... No, that's a hanging cabinet. They're all hanging. Oh, I need some kind of sink. Yeah, people like to have sinks. So that could live maybe... Just put it there for now, and then I'll figure it out later. Uh, pink kitchen for the Barbie murder ode. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the pink house. It's not pink anymore. Ever, ever again. How about we did this? If I were to try and squeeze this guy... Oh, it's very tiny. Why, why are you so tiny? Why are you like the tiniest cabinet in the history of tiny cabinets? And I've seen a lot of tiny cabinets. I did a course on it once. Uh, are you bigger? No, you look bigger. Okay, you definitely look bigger. Yeah, okay, that's, that's what we're looking at here. That's the kind of thing that needs to live here. We're we looking at that other crazy nonsense for. Now I need a corner cabinet. Don't know that this is all going to work together. It, well, it kind of will and it won't. All right, move this guy oh, just over here for right now. Go back to this guy and give me one of those. Uh, Mia's still sad for the Pink Flamingo Bingo Hall. I, don't even sweat it. It's coming back. It's just not coming back right now. I've, I've got a very clear plan for that. I've recorded a couple of episodes in advance, and I have a very clear idea of where the Pink Flamingo Bingo Hall will end up based on some other things that had to get moved around. A lot of stuff is going to get moved around. A lot of stuff is going to get moved around. What about this guy? Can I fit this in there? No, not really. Okay, maybe if you live there, and if you go over here, and you come over here. This is just like doing a real kitchen. It's just one big jigsaw puzzle that never 100% works out. So you come here. I don't suppose one of you would like to fit perfectly in there and not give me a gap. No, you're definitely going to give me some kind of gap. Okay, well, if I'm going to have a gap, can I put the stove over here? All right, the stove will work there. Kind of. Yeah, that, I mean, that technically works. I think that odd bloke down at the teapot stole some of your pink flamingos. I saw that. I was just watching, watching his. I'm like, hey, you stole all my pink flamingo ideas. What's up with that? Um, but, you know, there you go. There you go. I took mine down anyway. There are no pink flamingos. I don't suppose you have a little gap that I could just kind of nuzzle you one fraction of a tile over? No, not at all. Okay, that's more fussy than I would like it to be. It just doesn't quite fit perfectly. Er, grr. Shim it and trim it. Yeah, no kidding, Sally Cat. Tell you what, a little bit of time with some sandpaper, and this could go right in here. I guess it's going to have to go like that. Well, if I'm going to have the gap, and at least try and center this a little bit so it's not quite as obvious. Yeah, I can live with that. That That is an acceptable acceptable scenario for me. Now I'm just going to put the sink back. So this kind of needs to go over here. Is that the, That's not quite the same width as this, is it? Why does this... How big is this? Is this two of these? It's like... One... Wait, why doesn't the sink fit there, then? Hang on, hang on. If I put you as close to the wall as I can humanly get... Uh, like, where, where... Oh, this fridge. Oh, this fridge. Making me nuts here. And then if I take you out of here... 
Why don't you fit here? I feel you should fit here. Please fit here. Maybe I changed the fridge. I asked the chef, but he didn't answer me. Do they have horse on the menu? Uh, well, it's the chef's private recipe, Mia, so I can't comment on that. I would not, um, I would not interfere with the chef's um, private uh, recipe um, and, and things, and um, I don't know. I don't know. See if you can find a slim sink. Yeah, I'm going to actually go for... I'm going to shoot for a slim fridge instead. So kitchen... No, I don't want furniture. I want to get out of furniture. And then I need electronic kitchen. Maybe I can do something a little slimmer. Either slimmer or bigger. One of the two. I'd like to see if I can trim that space up. How about this one? This looks very, very slim. It might just be exactly the same size as the last one, but hope springs eternal. That goes right here. Okay. Can I then put the sink in here? Yeah, but now I still have another gap. Because this is actually too slim now. Okay, you come... This is all good. I'm going to figure this out someday. You come over here. You come back here. Still a gap. Okay, still a gap in there. I, what the heck do I fill that gap with? Because I could put the fridge here, and I could basically be okay with that. If that fridge lived right here, that's fine. That's 100% fine. It's a unique steak that you can't find anywhere else. Indeed, exactly. Has to be horse on the menu. What would you do with the horse if you don't you eat them like muffleberry? Um, yeah, well, muffleberry served a purpose. Served a purpose. The last time I played a Civ 6 game, just so happened to get the ideal map for your antisocial challenge. Yeah, I drew a bad map for that. I drew a very, very bad map for that. Surrounded. Completely sur I needed to not have that map. What I should have done is re-rolled that until I got a better map. Because it was just doomed to failure. It, the idea was not bad. But it was just doomed to failure. Because I just had such a terrible... Ooh, I want a toaster. I, I had such a terrible map on that thing. So let's get a toaster to live right there. And obviously the coffee maker. Where did that go? Yeah, coffee maker right there. That can come live right here. I can maybe live with that gap. I actually have an... I kind of think I know exactly what, what might fit in there. Uh, show me things that have the word surf in them. Can we get a surfboard in there? That's nice and slim. And make it in different colors because I said so. Yeah, there we go. That one. Horse steak is really tasty. I I have no strong opinion on it. I, I don't, to my knowledge, I've never eaten horse. I, I don't know that for a fact. But to my knowledge, I haven't. Ah, it doesn't quite... Yeah, it's a little tiny bit too deep for that. Okay. Well, all right. All right. Different idea. Can I get that same corner cabinet to live in here? Is that something we could do? Get out of that. And, oh god, where does it live again? Is it furniture, kitchen? Where was that corner cabinet that I was looking at? Maybe that could live here. It's down here somewhere. Yeah, this guy. This guy. Um, let's see. Give me one of those. Is this a thing that might work? Uh, no, not quite. Grr! Why, why have you built rooms where nothing fits? What is your problem game? All right, get me out of that, and then... Hey, hon, I, I heard you were home. Heard you were home and fussing with the running toilet. Um, I, I assume it's, you know, still running as it does. So let's, um... Let's get this to go... Aha! Aha! I might be onto something here. Okay, that's very, very tiny, tiny gap. Uh, would a trash can fit in the gap? Uh, no. No, it's a it's like a one half of one tile gap. That works though. That totally works. I mean, you can't see the gap at all. If this were our kitchen, we would totally live with that. Actually, if this is our kitchen, this would be awesome. I like this kitchen. I like the tile and I like the cabinets. Uh, speaking of cabinets, I can get some more of those cabinets up there. So get me where did those live again? Right up here. Yeah, these guys. Except get me a couple of these two instead. So that could go right there, and that could go right there. Okay, that's a kitchen. I like that, uh, which means, unfortunately, you can just go away. You have no use here anymore. Remove sink, put in small unit, put your sink near the fridge. I think I've solved the problem. 
I think I've got everything under control here. This is all working for me. I can do... This is all 100% fine. Unless that corner cabinet would fit better here, but I don't think it will. I don't think it will. I think it's going to have another gap issue. Uh, we would not have that tile in our home. I like it. I, I know it looks like a British subway, but I like it. I mean, it's a little grungy. You're not wrong. But I, I personally like it. So, okay, it can't be... It, it could be in, you know, some small area of the house that... Like, how about right in front of my face in the office? Uh, what do you serve at the mulligan? Whatever people want, Mia. Whatever people want is what gets served at the mulligan. Uh, I need some lights on in here. That would be an excellent idea. People like to have lights. Uh, now, okay, where have you put everything now? Lights is over here. Right, uh, just a simple ceiling lamp, please, for the kitchen. Uh, this is pretty space. We're in space. Let's put a space lamp up. Oh, there's already a lamp here. Oh, do I just not have a light switch? Yeah, that's apparently the problem. There's just no light switch in here. All right, that part I can solve. That part I can solve. To be honest, everything does in... Uh, tiles never work for me. Wipe it and wipe it would still look dirty. Yep. To be honest, everything does in house slipper. It's moon chic. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. It's the new fashion trend. Moon chic for when we live on the moon. Oh, right. Okay. I need fixtures, but not. Right. Okay, where did they put these these time? I've totally seen them. Installations. There we go. They've just completely reorganized. Oh, there's doorbells. Oh, that's fun. We're putting a doorbell on the moon. Yeah, doorbell on the moon, right by the welcome mat. So, you know, when you get to the moon, you can tell people um, who are at the moon that you're here, except it doesn't work outside. Well, what kind of doorbell doesn't work outside that completely defeats the purpose of having a doorbell? Oh, sure, it works inside. So if you're inside, you could ring the doorbell to let people who are inside with you know that that you're inside, basically. Um, I Yeah that ah light switch is behind the fridge okay well that's where it lives now then um because i i don't do actually i say i don't feel like moving the fridge i might hang on maybe i can squeeze some more cabinets in here nothing wrong with some oh there it is you're right uh yay light switch except i don't want it there because i might put cabinets and stuff up in there how many okay i'm gonna make myself nuts with another cabinet gap issue but i'm doing it anyway just to see what i can squeeze in here so get to, oh goodness, what was it again? Furniture kitchen, and then back down to those cabinets I was using. Not with the built-in oven, though. Uh, doorbell near the moon. Yeah. Uh, okay, Ethan, thank you. Thank you. Bye, Ethan. Be back in an hour. Um, no, actually, we won't, because we usually end the stream around 4. But uh, we'll stream again tomorrow. Tomorrow's stream starts at 3. And if not, we'll be back Friday, next Friday. Uh, except not next Friday because it's Christmas. Uh, but anyway, you get the idea. Thank you, Ethan, for coming by. I really, really appreciate it. Um, the light, the tiles look worse. No, they look great. They look fantastic. And we all know they do. We're all aware of this. We're all just denying the reality of the tiles. And the reality is the tiles are fine. I'm totally not going to squeeze another cabinet in there, am I? No, there's just no chance that's going to happen. I mean, I'm going to try, but I'm just going to make myself nuts. Uh, nope, nope, not even a, not even a chance of that. I could take down that wall. That would kind of solve my problem, but then, w if I did, no, if I took that down, it would not. Uh, sledgehammer time. Hang on, hang on. Falsy, welcome. Wow, Falsy, awesome. Good to see you, man. Yeah, uh, except put, oh, darn it, I need to put the lintel back now. Ah, uh, it means I need my paint paint that says I live on the moon and I need my tile oh dear this has just gotten very very complicated okay we're all it's all fine we're all going to learn to cope with this information we're all going to learn to cope uh, I wonder if they serve baguettes at the buffet I don't know but that's very fun to say I, I think they should just so people can order that I'd like a ba baguette at your buffet now I need the tile and the paint right uh, so go all the way back. Did you save? Yeah, you haven't saved that much, have you? Okay, how are we going to do this? Walls, right. And then paint. And then young flower bud, a.k.a. I live on the moon, is one of them. And then I need those tiles back again. 
So get out of that. Tiles. Where did those go? They were kind of down a ways, as I recall. There they are. Classic green. See, they've got to be good tiles. They say classic on them. Um, so let's get... Well, get out of this and, and get out of that. Let's get the tiles going on first. Give me that. Now, where do these need to go? Here and under here and then one here. Okay, easy enough. This is all so I can put one more cabinet in there. Oh, wait, I haven't demoed enough wall. Hang on, I haven't demoed enough wall. All right, I, I, I need to sledgehammer some more stuff here. Hang on just a sec. So this is all going to be fine. There's nothing wrong with this moon house that a sledgehammer can't cure. Come on, hit hit the thing. Hit more hitting with the thing that the sledgehammer is. There we go. Much better. Much, much better. A steak baguette. Oh, that sounds good. Oh, now I'm hungry. I, I'm unnecessary. No, I didn't want to pick those up. I just wanted to do... Yeah, there we go. All right. So this guy's got to go here. Do I have to put the lintel back? Oh, yeah, I totally do. I 100% do. Uh, why was I think? Why did I think that wasn't going to happen? Okay, put that in there. There we go. There we go. Now back to tiling. Uh, no, I don't. I didn't want to do that. I just wanted to do that. All right, and then one under here. This is all so I can put in one cabinet. I've gone to extraordinary lengths here for this cabinet. This better work out the way I want it to. And you can go right in here and paint you. There we go. Okay, everything's back to normal, mostly mostly. I bought Coca-Cola and found out that it was cinnamon flavor. Oh, I fell for that once. It's terrible. Oh, yeah, it's so not good. No, wait, it wasn't the cinnamon one. It was the, um, oh, what was it, Mrs. Dave? It was the caramel thing. Salted caramel Pepsi. Oh, that was, that was grim. That, I mean, I bought it saying to myself, this is either going to be awful or really good. And it turned out it was the awful one. Um, it, it had a 50-50 shot. But it turned out to be completely awful. So, uh, pro tip, uh, salted caramel Pepsi. Not so good. Not so good at all. Well, now the light switch works. There we go. Can I turn the fan on as well? No, I can't. Fan is static. All right. Uh, Mrs. Dave is also quite hungry. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, we've got food in the fridge. And then also, I, I was really impressed by the chicken sandwich that we had last week. Uh, Pepsi is worse. Uh, yes, Mia, I would agree with you on everything that you just said in that sentence when you put the words in that order, except Cherry Pepsi. I actually prefer Cherry Pepsi to Cherry Coke. Not by much. It, it's, it's a hair split. But I, I slightly prefer Cherry Pepsi to Cherry Coke. Now, I prefer Cherry Coke Zero to Cherry Pepsi. But if you're just going to have, like all the sugar and all the everything, then I'm going to go Cherry Pepsi over Cherry Coke. So um, I agree with you, except for that. Except for that one thing. Uh, bought Coca-Cola once in France. Turned out there was coffee in it. Well, there's the French for you. That's why they can't get along with people. They keep putting things like that in there. You don't put coffee in Pepsi. Why would you do that? It's just very silly. Okay, get me to... Oh, Lord, where is it going to be? I need accessories, specifically kitchen. Uh, bread box. Yeah, why not? Why not? We'll put a bread box in here. They can have some bread. What's wrong with bread? I like bread. Uh, put that right there. Yeah, it even looks very space. I like this kitchen. This is a good kitchen. Okay. Uh, I am so weird. I am so weird. You're right. Uh, it's, well, you know what? You married me. You're stuck with it now. The, 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 the nice gentleman with the, with the white collar said so. He said you were stuck with me now. So, um, you are. I, I fun fact coke has failed cough medicine yeah and it it you know i think you know all, all of us are pretty clear um you know, it certainly definitely used to have cocaine in it before we realized hey this is pretty bad for you we probably shouldn't be putting this in things and actually let's just go ahead and declare it illegal anyway uh so yeah it, it, there's a re there's a reason it's called coca-cola because um you know what with the cocaine and everything uh so get that and more kitchen utensils can never have enough kitchen utensils, I say. And I do say that. We've got many. That can go right here by the sink, which doesn't make a tremendous amount of sense. But it kind of all sort of works. Can I put things on top of the cabinets? Please say yes. Uh, can I put, like, a plant up here? And if not, why not? Uh, so get me to decorations. Get me to plants and get me to small plants. 
can I put a holographic bonsai on top of my cabinets? Can I? Can I? Can I? Can I? I can. Okay, cool. Neat. Oh, well, that's a thing we're doing then. Oh, I'm putting all sorts of stuff on top of the cabinets then. Maybe that's where the surfboard can be. Uh, used to, I think it still does. <laughs> it might. It might. I don't actually, I actually prefer Coke Zero to like regular Coke. I actually find regular Coke to be too syrupy. So um, if we're going to go with preference, it's going to be Cherry Coke Zero. Um, second in line would be Coke Zero. And then after that, well, it's kind of a grab bag. You can pretty much have whatever you want there. Um, there might need to be a clock here. I think there there should be a clock in this room. Yeah, give me give me one of these. Let's put that guy right there. Oh yeah, that's good stuff. I really wish the lights would stay on when you left the room. That's the one thing I'd change about house slippers, the fact the lights go off when you leave the room. I mean, great for energy con for conservation. I don't deny that. But also, I'd like to look at the room in the light, like far away from it. And, and that's just not really working out. Yeah, go back to putting things on top of the cabinets. Because now we're the society for putting things on top of other things, as we should be. Uh, let's get to... Ooh, um, not those decorations. What are standing decorations again? Vases, yeah. Could do vases. I could maybe see that. I've already done trophy. Uh, I heard no one has the secret recipe of Coca-Cola except the President of the United States. Um, that can't possibly be true. Because otherwise that secret would have been spilled a long time ago. I think we need way more trustworthy people to hold the secret of Coca-Cola besides any, any president of the United States. Uh, I think all of them would be very prone to spilling that secret. So I'm actually sure it's quite more secure than that. That and the Kentucky Fried Chicken um, secret, like whatever, breading recipe. Oh yeah, I like putting things on cabinets. This is excellent. I didn't know I could do this. Now I do. So this is a thing that we're doing now putting lots and lots of things on top of other things. Uh, that can go right there. How's that coming together? Oh, very nice. Very, very nice. Uh, yeah, exactly. Uh, M. No, I agree with you. Yeah, let's, um, you know what? We all, we're all aware of it. We're all dealing with it. So let's just, let's just have two hours out of our week when we're not dealing with that. I'm, I'm siding with them on that. I'm siding with them. Let's just keep that out of the conversation. We all know what's going on. No surprise to anyone. Have a couple of hours out of our week when we don't need to deal with that. And we can discuss really important things like putting blue snakeskin vases on top of other things. Can I put things on top of the fridge? I cannot. That's very odd because I can do that in the real world. There are things on top of our fridge right now. Uh, like two or three things at least live on top of our fridge. Sometimes it's kitty, but not very often. Uh, cups? Do we want cups? Oh, no, not those kind of cups. I want, like, coffee cup cups. So how about... Well, where the heck are those going to be now, these days? Probably accessories, probably kitchen. Okay. Uh, don't want me to stick in the mud, it's just like... You're not being a stick in the mud, Ed. I think that's a perfectly reasonable request. That is 100% reasonable request, and frankly, I agree with you. So um, we'll just call it a day on that. It's no reason to. We all know what the world is right now. So let's have that live up there. Oh, this is good. This is very, very good. I like all of this. Everything that I'm doing right now is awesome. I just want us to all be aware of that. Every oh, I'll put the T up here. Make sure it's out of reach of some people whose name will not be mentioned. But let's make sure the T is very, very difficult to reach. You have to go and get the stepladder, which we can buy. Uh, and sugar, actually sugar can be down. I like that sugar jar. I wouldn't mind actually having that sugar jar. That's a fun jar. Um, I should find that and then own it. Yeah, and it matches all the utensils, which is great. Oh, yeah, this is looking like a champ now. I might have gone a little vase heavy. I might, I, I'm, I'm going to be the first to admit this. I've gone a little vase heavy. Uh, Mia smacked her toe. Oh, dear. We'll, we'll stop that. Stop that. All right. Oh, thank you for coming by. Thank you for coming. Yeah, if we don't see you tomorrow, have an awesome holiday, man. Thank you so much. Thank you very, very much. Does that tea have Coca-Cola in it? Uh, no, it's just tea. It's just being kept out of the reach of people who may visit the moon and have a mild obsession with tea. Um, it'll be harder for them to get to it. I'm not naming any names at all. I'm just saying. That's all. I'm just saying. I'm just putting it out there. Could be anyone. Could be anyone at all. And let's put this jug 
over here. How many things can I get up here? This is just enchanting me right now. How many things can I put up on top of the cabinets? Probably don't put the knives up there. You probably want those closer at hand. Oh, that's it. Okay. Well, let's get this thing. I'll find some other things to live up there. You don't even worry about that. Uh, I just launched my first pod in RimWorld. Only 500 hours. Huh. All right. Right on. Going for the ship this time. Uh, yeah, no, Em, I'm not naming any, any names. I'm just, just putting the information out there that, you know, maybe if somebody visited the moon, um, they may not have as much access to tea as they might traditionally expect. This is a darn good kitchen. I'm very pleased. I would totally have this kitchen. This kitchen's awesome. Um, now, what else can I put up there? What, what things could sit up there? Oh, you know what? Put some books up there. Because there's not really anywhere else for the books to go. So those can go live up there. How about... Yeah, just give me a bunch of stuff. I know there's some actual cookbooks here. Yeah, there we go. I get that one up here. That's going to go right here. Okay, no, stay up here. We're still putting things on the cabinet. There we go. Uh, not that anymore. Let's get... Um, Sure, European castles. I love to read about European castles when I'm in my kitchen. So um, putting them really, really out of reach is a terrible idea. But here we are. And advanced gardening. There's no time where you shouldn't be reading about advanced gardening in the kitchen um, at an elevated level, I say. Ah, sweetest desserts. That should definitely go in the kitchen. That should go right there. Excellent. What else could we throw in here? He'll bring his totally predictable advent calendar. Uh, Mel, yeah, just for argument's sake, I do want us to all be clear that Mrs. Dave thinks my hands are nicer than Penge's. I just want to be super clear about that. Um, just just in case there's any lingering doubt um, that my hands are not up to snuff. Mrs. Dave says they're better than Penge's, and she's seen his. She watched his little advent thing. Uh, rare plants, yes, rare plants. That can go right on top of this one. Okay. And then, uh, yeah, I know I already did the red book in the office. How about classic book? Yeah, classic book. That can go right here. Come come here. There we go. C come up here. Right there. Uh, M's in it for the hands. Again, M, um, although I do not show off my hands, I have been assured by Mrs. Dave that they are nicer than Penge's hands. So, uh, you know, just putting that out there. Just saying. Just saying. Just giving you the info. Just uh, letting you know the uh, the four one one, as the kids say. I believe that's how they say it now. Um, and uh, yeah, that and also fax machines, right? So yeah, that'll probably do it for books. Maybe a I get maybe a light up here. That would be completely out of the question. How about we got what light up here? Not Hedgehog Jojo. I've done a lot with Hedgehog Jojo. I think I think I'm all set with Hedgehog Jojo. Maybe. None of these. Maybe none. Oh, candles. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Put some candles up here. That's where you want uncontrolled fire, where you can't get to it. Why didn't I think of that before? And then put one of these over here. That's a really awful shade of mauve purple going on. Um, tuck that guy right there. And then maybe another large one sort of here-ish. Who did die on the moon? I have no idea. Did somebody die on the moon? Has that ever happened? I, I don't know. Oh, that looks amazing. I am so good at putting things on top of cabinets. I'm going to keep doing it. Maybe uh, what could live up here? If I can get something on those cabinets, I should be able to get something on all the other ones. So get me back to accessories, my favorite tab. Oh, I should have put the bread box up there. That would have made sense. Oh, I can put the tires up there. No, that's a very silly idea. Let's not do that. Let's never, ever do that. I'll put the teapot up there. There we go. Teapot can live. Come here. Come. Come here. I can't quite get in there. Ah, darn it. All right, well, it's going to have to live here then. I can't quite get to the top of that cabinet. Uh, the tea will burn down the moon. Moon Raccoon is fun to say. It is. I'm looking forward to that. Um, no, wait, not Moon Raccoon. The raccoon game where you're basically Hitman, but it's, the mo it's a raccoon instead. Acting all innocent after the cleaning the blood. I'm just saying I've got a house on the moon. I'm not saying how I acquired it. Oh yeah, that is a good looking kitchen there. Cluttered, but it looks lived in. It has personality to it. Okay, and I've got all the right elements. We've got a stove, we've got a sink, we've got a fridge. 
Right, there should be something living over here, I feel. I already did the coffee maker. What's in specialized? Oh yeah, back to the velvet ropes again. Do I want velvet ropes for the kitchen? I might. It's a really good kitchen. I think maybe we're just saying that this is kind of a VIP area here. Yeah, no, we're doing this as a VIP kitchen. You gotta be kind of um, upper echelon to get in here. So this can go right here. Um, normally there's a bouncer who would stand here and sort of guard entry into the awesome kitchen. But not today. It's his day off. So this can go right here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's good stuff. Do we have any signs that could go along with that? Like, keep out. Apart from the no entry sign. Um, not as such. No. No. All right, that's fine. That's fine. That is fine. Kim, welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome. VIP kitchen looking good. What else could I possibly put in there? How about electric? Get me back to electronic and then kitchen. What else lives around here that I might want to be aware of? Eh, nothing that's. I've already got the toaster and all of that. It's an entertainment again. Right, that stuff. Maybe there's. You know what? Maybe there's a laptop in the fridge. In the fridge? How about in the kitchen? Because, you know, maybe you want to watch some streaming services or something while you're in the kitchen and. And you actually manage to get in because, you know, you're on the VIP list. Uh, put that in there. Oh, it's got neat stuff on it. Yay. I like that. Yeah, VIP kitchen. All set. All set. Velvet ropes. Are you are you watching Sim Casino? Not you, the viewers. I mean, is Sim, Sim Casino watching this? Velvet ropes. I can't do a casino without velvet ropes. Failed at the first, st like, starter's orders there, whatever it is. Uh, stumbled at the first hurdle is what I'm trying to say. Sim Casino. Velvet ropes, please. Velvet ropes. That's all I want. Uh, Pench has the hands of a man who works on a keyboard for a living. Exactly. That's exactly what Mrs. Dave said. And she even agreed with you down below. I have the hands of someone who worked with their hands for 20 years. Uh, but yes, but yet also moisturizes. So it's kind of um, it's a combo thing going on there. It's very, it's very festive. It's very fun. Um, can I actually... I can't get out of my velvet rope. That's awesome. Uh, maybe... Oh, it needs, like, some artwork or something up here. What could I put up in here that's sort of artsy? Uh, get me to decorations and pictures and paintings and something... Yeah, I could, I could see vintage motorcycle going on here. Yeah, that makes sense. That's going to live right here. Okay. VIP kitchen definitely coming together there definitely coming together is that a floppy yes it totally is yep yep insane ridiculous laptop with a floppy drive yep absolutely you are 100 percent correct on that bobcat uh so it's my kitchen i thought you didn't like the tiles i thought you were all bent out of shape about the tiles i happen to love the tiles You've got to admit, that is a rock and roll kitchen. You can tell it's rock and roll because it's got velvet ropes and a VIP area. You actually have to be somebody to get in here. This is a great kitchen. I, I would totally have this kitchen. Every bit of it. Maybe not the fridge exactly there, but I would learn to cope with it if this was what was handed to me. And there's so many things on top of the cabinets, which just makes it fun. Uh, you can tell a lot about a person from the bone. Wait, I've missed things here. Hang on, I've missed things. Uh, a wrist thing for me, you can tell a lot about a person from that bone. Oh, we're talking about attractiveness of hands. Okay, I thought you'd injured yourself. Right. Uh, only the newest tech in the kitchen. If we change the title, you submit that I am a VIP. Well, of course you are. Well, naturally. Um, but yeah, I'm not, I don't want to change this tile. I'm, I'm very much a fan of this tile. It looks like I built an awesome kitchen in a British subway, and I'm very keen on that. That's why it's the VIP kitchen. Because not just anyone gets to come in here. It's very, very good. Might be my favorite kitchen that I've done. Mostly because I put so many things on top of the cabinets. I think that's very fun. All right, so I've got a clock, right? Got some artwork on the walls, right? Uh, you kids think your tech is so sleek and cool. Don't have flying, time-traveling DeLorean, though. No, no, we don't. We still don't. We should. We should get one of those. Can I put maybe... Uh, I feel like I want to put like a cupboard or something over there, but I don't think it's going to, it's not really going to work. It's not really going to do what I want it to do. Uh, show me, 
actually go back. How would that look here? It's not really what I want, but I want the, I want to see the size of it. Yeah, it's not really going to be what I want it to be. No, no, that's just silly. Let's never do that again. Ever, ever. Okay, I'm just going to walk away from the kitchen for right now. Oh, I, I told Mia I was going to show off the office. Yes, right. Okay, so this is the office. It's it's good. It's a good office. It's best dad's office. He's got a trophy for it. And then there's kitty on the wall. Hi, kitty. Sort of silly kitty. Upside down kitty. Um, yeah, it's just sort of a sort of an office. I mean, it's not, you know, it's not my best, but it's solid. It's oh wait, can I put things on top of the filing cabinets? Hang on, hang on, hang on. I, I forgot to put things on top of other things. What was I thinking? Uh, the moon is not America. No, there'll probably be some weapons, though, because you'll want to defend yourself from aliens. You're on the moon. You're going to have to be prepared for aliens. Um, how about a box of pralines, or pralines, however you choose to pronounce it, on top of the cabinet? Yeah, right there. Okay, so there's some chocolatey things up there, which is good. Then, then what? What else is occasional? Eh, the lanterns are okay. The bat clock, not so much. How about a nutcracker? It is kind of getting to be that time of year. Let's slap this guy down right here. Yeah, that doesn't look evil and threatening in the slightest. No, I'd be perfectly calm and content to have that staring at me all day. Totally fine. 100% fine. Uh, putting random useless stuff on top of things. It's just a society for putting things on top of other things. I, I don't know why anyone's having a problem with this. Uh, a big gift package. You okay? Maybe. Think about it. Long Christmas chain, you say? Okay. Show it to me. Show it to me and I'll tell you how I feel about it. Um, I'm kind of indifferent about it. Eh. Nah. I don't know if I'm feeling this. Maybe right above the door. No, it just looks like a weird smiley thing. No, no, we're going to make that go away. Why no toilet on top? Then you don't have to leave. Yeah, you're not wrong, Kim. You're not wrong about that. Uh, the Inhumans lived in the blue area of the moon. Several people lived in the blue area of the moon. Um, that was a very popular hot spot if you were in the Marvel Universe. Uh, show me... Sh oh, do we want a coffin? We should probably have at least one coffin, I feel. At least. I mean, people are going to die up here. Where was this when I was doing the pink house? Could have just tucked this away somewhere, nice and threatening. Uh, maybe this... Okay, I'm just gonna I'm gonna do what I was. Doing. I'm gonna put that down there so I remember that it exists. There's there's a place for. It's definitely a place for a coffin on the moon. I just don't know what it is yet. Uh, gingerbread house. Yeah, I just saw that myself, and I just thought that might be a good spot in the kitchen for that. Where did I, there it is? Gingerbread house slipper. Okay, this could go live right in the kitchen. It's gonna be right here at a jaunty angle, probably. Uh, this, yeah, there we go. There we go. So it looks like he just finished making it. It's still in the kitchen. Okay, out of the VIP kitchen. Let's not get it dirty. Now, now what? Um, am I going back to the office? Not necessarily. I don't think, you know what? When it, I, I think I just don't like this chair. I want to like that chair. I should like that chair, but I don't. So we're not having that chair anymore. Uh, we're going back to fur furniture. No, not kids. I didn't want kids' furniture. I wanted, um, chairs? Where, where do you feel you might be showing me chairs? See, here's the thing, House Slipper. Chairs used to have its own tab. Now I've got to look through the chairs of all the different areas, which is possibly less than ideal. Okay, armchairs, good. That's fine. I'm looking for, like, regular chairs, which are probably now in dining room. Yeah, basically yes along with everything else. Okay. So I like some of the reorganization, just not all of the reorganization. Am I going to add Christmas decorations? Um, I haven't ruled it out. I mean, we're just kind of poking through those. We've got a nutcracker in a gingerbread house. We're well on our way, Mia. Well on our way to Christmas around here. Uh, Bobcat has to go work soon. How good the roads are going to be. I'm going to tell you they're probably terrible. They're terrible in our area. I, I don't know why they'd be any better where you are. I mean, I have sort of a vague idea of your part of the country, and you got hit just as hard as we did. 
we got a heck of a lot of snow. Not a small amount of snow. We haven't had that big a snowfall in quite some time. Uh, at least a couple of years I can think of that we haven't had that, that much snow kicking around. Uh, well, what do you think is in bedroom furniture apart from beds? Okay, wardrobes, those kind of things. The Murphy bed, right? Some tables, the, the sort of lover bed thing here. Or the infatuation bed. Okay, so infatuation, you're kind of, eh, this is pretty cool. And then you can move up to the lover bed later on. Fair enough. I see what you're doing there, house flipper. Uh, yeah, it's all, it's all broadly good stuff. Okay, get out of that for right now. Southern Sweden is the best. I, I'll take your word on it. Absolutely. I have no problem taking your word on that. I, what I know about Southern Sweden is I can probably spell it if I put my mind to it. And that's probably about all I know. I'm back in the VIP kitchen because I really like the VIP kitchen. It's good stuff. Now what? Could still go with my plans to do the living room in here. And then that becomes a bedroom. Or this is a master bedroom. That's another bedroom. And I do a living room thing sort of out here. I'm going to take my little James Bond villain globe out here. And see if placing this sort of in the middle here, what oh, could get a nice shadow effect on that. Ooh, I don't hate that. I don't hate that at all. That looks really good. I even got it to center nicely with all the doors. Yeah, I think we're leaving that up. I think that's where that lives now. Does terrible roads mean no chicken sandwiches? Um, no, not necessarily. I am, you know, it's funny about that chicken sandwich. I kind of see where people are going now. Upon eating it, as we did last week, upon eating that chicken sandwich, I said, wow, that's a really good chicken sandwich. The more I think about the chicken sandwich, the more I want another one, I feel there may be some sort of sort of low-dose, long-term narcotic in it. I didn't want one immediately after that. I wasn't flipping out. But now I really want another one of those. So, uh, no, it doesn't, it doesn't preclude that at all. We can go down that road. Um, if, the, if the house feels that that's what the house wants to do with its time, then we can absolutely go down that road. Um, I would not be opposed to that at all. I think this time I'd probably go with two of the, the, uh, the, like the original ones that we got. Although that other one was pretty good too. I could go either way. I, maybe I do want variety. I don't know. Yeah, so this is, um, this is me playing house slipper and talking with my wife about whether we're going to go get... Um, I want to say fast food, but it's more like that fast, fresh thing. It's not, it's not like gar, it's, well, all right. It's not complete garbage fast food. It's not good for you by any stretch of the imagination, but it's one of those things where you feel like just slightly better than eating at McDonald's or Wendy's. It's one of those places. Like you go in and out of there and you're like, okay, well, we didn't eat at Wendy's. So, you know, we got that going for us. So, uh, yeah, long story short, um, Sure. If, if you want to do that, I will fully support you in that decision uh, and encourage you if, if you need me to. So, all right, all of that's looking good. What else? All right, what do I want to get started on, basically? Because whatever I get started on is what we're going to start with next time. I, I really like that globe right there. I kind of need to evil it up a little bit, though. Like, if this is now becoming James Bond villainess, because that's all the holographic globe needs. Clearly, I'm launching some sort of attack. I am now a James Bond villain. If you have a hol they only give holographic globes to James Bond villains. It's the only way it happens. They're very exclusive. And I'm going to launch an attack on the Earth, which I clearly am. Oh my god, this thing need needs like a, a rack of missiles. Just on the moon. That's the only place you can buy them, is on the moon. Just kind of casually pointing at the Earth. Um, then I kind of need to evil this area up. How do I evil... How do I evil up House Flipper? How the heck am I going to do that? Had Domino's for the first time in about a year for dinner. Limited edition chocolate orange cookies. Ew. Oh, God. That sounds terrible. I just, I just have a very, very hard and fast rule, Plastic Swans. We do not mix chocolate and fruit. No. I don't know what the British's obsession is with doing that. Uh, Grey Fuzz, welcome, welcome. I don't know why the British are so obsessed with mixing chocolate and fruit, but it's just terrible. I don't know who started that nonsense, but it needs to be stopped. 
Just stopped fully. Um, okay, Dave's wife is on board for the chicken sandwiches. Okay, cool. Well, then we'll, we can just play it like last time. If you want to order it online, then, um, you know, we can just go pick it up. I'll take a shower after I'm done here, but that that's about it. Um, Mehdi, welcome, welcome. Yeah, there is a new update. Um, being on the moon is not part of the new update. I mean, the moon was here to be built on. But yeah, they basically, Mehdi, they've reorganized all the taps. So everything has been somewhat condensed into, like, fixing stuff, decorating stuff, and then all the outside things. Wait, can I put a pool on the moon? Oh my god, let's put a pool on the moon. Pool on the moon, everybody! Totally doing a pool on the moon now. Uh, yeah, give it work. I, I don't know how it's going to work. I don't know how we can be outside in the moon, on the moon, but we're doing, we're doing moon pool. Moon pool is totally a thing that's happening now. Uh, moon pool should live over here, so you can kind of check out the earth while you're, while you're in moon pool. This is going to be right over here. Yeah, there we go. Pointing right at the earth. Okay. Um, yeah, I, I, I want to do this. Are you not going to let me do this? Are you, there's perfectly good ground here. There we go. Now what do you want me to do with it? Am I supposed to do a thing with this? No, you're telling me I can just pick it up. I don't want to pick it up. I want to do a pool on the moon. Oh, why aren't you letting me put a pool on the moon? Like, you're going green, like I could. But then I don't have the option to, like, install it and, like, put it in the ground. And I'm I'm eing my heart out here. I'm hitting E as much as I can. It's just not... I could just leave it like that, but that's a terrible pool. It's the worst pool ever. Oh, now I'm vaguely disappointed. I was all excited to do a pool on the moon. All right, well, no pool on the moon, kids. Sorry. No, no moon pool. Hashtag no pool on the moon. That'll be trending real soon. I will do some kind of moon patio. Actually, can I do a moon patio? Now that I'm out here, how, what can I do out here? So, um, what am I looking for? Surfaces. Could I say do concrete slabs? Is that, is that a thing? Okay, I can do those. You have no problem letting me do a concrete slab. So I could make a moon patio. I just can't make a moon pool. It's mildly disappointing. I mean, I can live out here. Clearly I haven't died out on the surface of the moon, so why no moon pool? I suppose if you splashed in the moon pool, the, you know, distinct lack of gravity would just make all the water go away. Uh, put gravestones in. We totally will. I've got that coffin saved up for something along those lines. So remind me that again next time. Are, are you 100% sure you won't let me do a moon pool game? Because I'm really excited about that now. There, what other things could I put in there? Because there's other, there's like the little, oh, where's the koi pond? Can we have moon koi? Please say we can have moon koi. Will you let me do moon koi? Yeah, a koi pond. I want one of these now. Um, we're doing, um, we're going to try and do Moonfish. Yeah, it's not going to let me do that either. Yeah, it's it's not wicked into that. No. No. That's unfortunate. Yeah, I guess all the water would just float away every time it splashed. Uh, a raised patio. Well, how am I going to do a raised patio? I don't think I can do a raised patio. I can't build out here, right? No. Can't do like a, a wall or something weird like that. Uh, chocolate with raisins or something is gross, but chocolate orange is awesome. Uh, no, you're wrong, actually. Plastic swans. I mean, I, I'm sorry. It's not personal. You understand that. I, I'm not casting any moral aspersions against you. It's just that you're demonstrably and fundamentally wrong about that. Chocolate and orange is terrible. We all know that. i uh, love to have some chicken. Boss's creamy bacon and mushroom sauce. Ooh, that does sound good. That does sound super, super good. Double cream and simmer for five minutes. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, you ain't wrong about that. That sounds exceptionally good. Okay. All right. Well, back to my evil room. I got to... Okay. We got to think between now and, well, technically two Fridays because next Friday is Christmas and you people have far better things to be doing with your time than spending them watching me do things on the moon. Um, go be with your whatever limited family you can be with this year. That's that's what I want you all to do. Um, spend time with whomever you want, and don't be watching me do House Slipper on Friday, because I won't be doing it. I'll be with my own family. Uh, very small gathering, but, you know, a, a gathering of two and briefly three, but a, um, a good Christmas nonetheless. 
So I got to think about how I'm going to evil up this area to go with my holographic globe, which clearly says evil. I love the VIP kitchen. This may be one of my favorite kitchens that I've done. Kitchens are always a fussy one for me in House Slipper, mostly because of the cabinet nonsense. But finally, this is all coming together. This is all coming together. Lots of things on top of the cabinets. A little laptop here, gingerbread house for the season. Now I just got to figure out how to evil up this area. Uh, Friday after is New Year's Day. Um, I can't see why I wouldn't be here for New Year's Day. Honestly, New Year's Day is not really a big deal for me. So I will be here New Year's Day. If you guys are not here, I totally understand. If many of you are off getting drunk in a pub, I will 100% support you in that decision. I will still be here anyway. Two and the cats for Christmas. That sounds excellent. Uh, pancakes. Yep, we got... we. I you Mia, you said pancakes. I gave you pancakes. Pancakes are all here. This, it just fits perfectly on this wall. I say fits perfectly. That could nudge a little bit closer. Like... That? No, I guess it was right the first time. It was right the first time. It's not 100% perfect because the medium ones don't perfectly line up with the other ones. I tried it over here, but they just... I could only get the one big one, and it didn't really, didn't really work. It didn't really make sense. This makes sense. This wall makes perfect sense. Anyone walking by this wall would say, Hey, I must be in some sort of fancy New York art gallery because this totally makes sense. And also pancakes. So that... That I think um, two and cats is a perfectly good way to spend Christmas. It's going to be two and a cat here, and then briefly three. Not an extra cat, though. Uh, we'll have a hangover on New Year's Day, but I'll be here. Well, I'll, I'll just talk very quietly, Mel, when you have a hangover, because you're in paradise, and you send me photos of paradise while I'm under a foot of snow. That's okay. That's okay. You keep putting pictures of paradise up in the Wee Hours Discord. Shameless self-promotion link down below. Um, guys, let's just call it there. Let's, I, I don't want to start anything new because then I'll get stuck in it and I'll keep going and all of a sudden it'll be long past chicken sandwich time. So let's just call the stream there. I will see you guys... Well, I'll see you guys tomorrow. I will see you guys if you want. I'll be on Boxing Day. I Day after Christmas. I had see no reason why I wouldn't be streaming. Uh, the following Saturday, and then I'll see you guys on New Year's Day. Uh, Mel will be critically hungover. Um, some of you may or may not be here. I'll be here anyway. And if I don't see you guys, I want you to have the best possible Christmas slash holiday slash whatever you choose to celebrate season that you can under these circumstances. I know I'm going to try and do that. I hope you guys do exactly the same. So if I don't see you folks tomorrow... Uh, then have a fantastic holiday season. Um, there may be... Well, you know what? I'll just keep that one under wraps. I'm going to keep that one under wraps because it's not 100%. Guys, you have a fantastic holiday season. If I don't see you, I will see you tomorrow for RimWorld. I will see you on Boxing Day for RimWorld. And we will be back with House Slipper on the moon in two weeks. You guys make my week. You really do. You know I look forward to this every single week. And it's never disappointing. I have so much fun streaming with you guys. So I will see you next time.